I want to talk to you about how to deal with a jealous boyfriend or date. Ooh, ooh, that's not a good topic. Hi ladies, Jackie Sabrin here, your executive love coach and CEO of Engaged at Any Age, a company that helps women deliberately date and consciously create the man of their dreams. As you know, I met and married my own soulmate match husband, Michael, after being single for eight years and I'm still on the honeymoon and excited about helping you get engaged at any age. And believe me, it can happen. It's happening all summer long. It's like popcorn, pop, pop, pop. So many of my clients are getting engaged. So I'm really excited about continuing to make these amazing videos that you're learning from because I'm getting a lot of feedback that you're really taking to heart what I'm teaching you and you're applying it and you're seeing results. So yay for you. And uh, it's not fun when you're dealing with a jealous boyfriend or date. And so ladies, make sure you stay to the very end because I have something free to give you and I have an announcement to make. I want to share something with you and make sure you like, share and comment on my videos so that I can bring you more videos with relevant topics that apply to you and subscribe to my channel so you never miss an episode. Okay, let's talk about how to deal with jealous dates or boyfriends. Ugh, like I said, ugh, not fun. Not my favorite topic. And here's why. Jealousy is really, really ugly. And um, it can really contaminate a relationship and ruin a relationship. And so je jealousy is really stems from insecurity, right? I mean, we've all been insecure at times in our life. And jealousy is one of those things where we are really in victim mode and we feel like, Everybody has something that 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 we can't have, or or jealous people might feel like um, you got all the breaks, or you're you're the lucky one, or or things just fall into your lap as if you haven't worked for them, or even people that things do fall into their laps. Oh, you know, you don't deserve that, and so jealousy is just really ugly as you can hear me saying it and it's a it's a combination of possessiveness um, suspicion rage humiliation insecurity and it's it's a really bad combination so i really want you to um, have a high alert on men that behave jealousy you don't want to be in a relationship with a man that is becoming jealous or date a man that's jealous because it's not going to end well for you so I really recommend that you vote with your feet when you start to encounter any kind of possessiveness jealousness um, you know and another way that can happen is they start to humiliate you they start to say things like you know um, when they're jealous of you they'll say things like um, you know, oh, go ahead and go ahead and cry. You know, go ahead. I know you're gonna just gonna cry about it. They, or they start to belittle you a little, and it's really confusing because you're like, wait a minute, there's this great guy, and all of a sudden he's saying things that are, they don't feel good, and maybe I misheard him. You start to doubt yourself. What happens when you're with a jealous person? If you stay with him, you start to doubt yourself, and you become really insecure. You start to pretzel yourself in trying to please him or trying to assure him, you know, that everything's okay, that you're not cheating, you're not looking at other men, you're not that successful. You start to dim your own light, and in order to make him feel better and that is so dysfunctional and it's and it's not okay and you don't want it to be doing that so if you find you that you're doing that you 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 see feel that impulse you really need to be aware of it it's a huge red flag and it could lead to something that escalates into maybe even violence and so you know, I'm not a therapist. You know, I'm I'm very clear about that. I'm a coach and I want to be a coach so that I can um, share with you all of my experiences and I can share with you some of my client experiences because I'm a coach. I'm here to um, help you work out these emotional blocks that you have. And so let's go back to talking about jealousy, a jealous boyfriend. So if he is asking you about where have you been, what you've been doing, and who you've been doing it with, he's already experiencing a little jealousy, a little insecurity, dirty doubting you. If you find yourself over explaining, that's a sign that you're dealing with somebody who's insecure, who's jealous. So over explaining would be the first 
flag that I would say that's flying that you need to be on the alert of. Um, another thing is comparison. A second thing is comparing. So he might be comparing, you know, what you have versus what he has. And um, that would be a sign that he's starting to feel a little threatened. Maybe you have a nicer car than he does. Maybe you get paid more money. But that's not a problem for you, but it's a problem for him. And he's starting to make snide remarks about your your handbag or your trip that you went on. Um, oh, that's easy for you, you know. And then that's a sign of jealousy. When somebody says that, it's, it's really abusive. It's kind of like bullying to make you feel bad about what you've worked hard to get or that you, whatever you have. And it's nothing that you should feel bad about. You deserve to have everything you have. And he's just feeling insecure. And you can spend a little bit of time reassuring him, but I wouldn't spend too much time because it tells you about his character. It's not your job to make him feel secure. It's his job to make him feel secure. So if he's showing signs of insecurity and jealousy, you got to be really careful. And so another sign, something that he might do is to maybe... Even if you're dating him, he might be uh, rifling through your things when you're not in the room. And if you ever see that happening, looking at your emails or checking out your purse or um, looking at things in your car, stuff like that. I mean, that's extreme. But if you see that happening, it's really demeaning to him that he's doing that. I mean, if you're doing that, it's demeaning. You're demeaning yourself by, by taking those action steps. If you are jealous or if your boyfriend is jealous and that's going on, you need to really look at the relationship. The relationship has problems and that's something you have to address. If you're feeling suspicious or if your boyfriend or date is suspicious of you, there's a problem there. And it's something much deeper than what's showing up on the surface. And so you either need to get some help from some outside help or recommend it to the man you're seeing. Or what I always like to say is vote with your feet. Vote with your feet and leave the relationship before it escalates and it becomes out of control. Because uh, jealousy is, like I said, it's a very uh, sickening combination of things that can happen that can make you feel really bad about yourself. And you don't want to align yourself with a man that's jealous. They, they're very controlling. They don't trust you. And you can never... Um, you can never prove that you're that you didn't do it because they're never going to believe you because they don't believe something about themselves. It's not your fault. You didn't create this, but you may be experiencing it now. And so I don't recommend hanging out in relationships where there's jealousy. I mean, envy is an actual human emotion that we all have. We all can be envious from time to time. And envy is there to serve a valuable purpose to you. It lets you know that there's something that you want that you can get if you're willing to do the work to have it. So don't feel bad if you feel a little envious. That's okay. You know, if your friend got a new car and you're a little envious, just remind yourself, wait a minute, this envy can serve a purpose. It can remind me that I have the ability to go out and maybe get a second job or get a new job or take out a loan or refinance something and buy myself a new car. I don't need to be jealous of my friend. So it's okay to have a little bit of envy. It's a normal emotion. But when it goes to jealousy, jealousy is like the extreme of envy. It's saying that I don't believe that I can have it. And so I'm just going to sit here and, um, you know, resent others for having something that I'm not willing to do the work to get. And that's the bottom line as far as I can see it. And um, it just really stems from a deep-seated insecurity. And so if you're really interested in this man and he's open to exploring a discussion about it, then you can talk about, you know, what's coming up for him. And maybe he had somebody that cheated on him in the past. And what you'll have to do is ask him to make uh, peace with that. Because as long as he's holding on to those feelings of jealousy and fear about you cheating, he's going to project that onto your relationship. And you really don't have a chance if your man's afraid that you're going to cheat because it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, you probably will end up leaving the relationship and thus it comes true that you end up going and being with somebody else because you can't handle his jealousy and insecurity about cheating. And so make sure you don't own that behavior. If it's, if, if it's your behavior, own it, heal it, address it address your insecurity. And if it's his behavior, don't own it. Other people's feelings, needs, and wants are just that. They're their needs, feelings, and wants. You um, can respect them 
but you don't have to own them. So give yourself permission to only own your feelings and make sure you address your feelings if they're coming up. You're feeling a little jealous. Ask yourself, what am I feeling? You know, what am I feeling? Why am I feeling this? What is it about? What is it anchored to? Take time to get behind your triggers and notice where they're stemming from so that you can heal them, so that you don't attract um, a similar energy because remember likes attract likes and if you continue on that path you're going to end up attracting somebody with a similar energy to give you an opportunity to heal what um, what you are going through what you've experienced in the path and in, in the past and maybe you don't want to spend time doing that so take the short path identify jealousy right away see it for what it is it's an insecurity in someone else don't compare yourself don't compete just talk to him about it or vote with your feet and leave the relationship and move on. There's so many millions of men in the world. You do not need that. You need emotionally mature, highly functional man because that's what you are. You're showing up as emotionally mature, highly functional woman. You deserve a man that is secure in who he is and is not... Um, not watching over your shoulder every little thing that you're doing, everything you're saying on the phone, because that's going to just um, lead to uh, a really unhealthy relationship. So, okay, ladies, here's my um, free gift for you. It's my soulmate assessment. I want you to go to Soulmate IQ right now and take my quick quiz. It's an assessment that's going to tell you how close you are to attracting your soulmate. And I'm going to send you a feminine exercise along with your assessment so you can get further into alignment and fast track your ability to manifest your soulmate. And, and the, this it's uncanny how accurate my soulmate assessment is. So don't forget to go to Soulmate IQ right now and take my quiz. And the announcement that I want to share with you is that I've opened the doors to my Bridge to Love program. I'm really excited about this because this is an opportunity, a program that I've created to provide you with an opportunity to work with me. And this is the only way you can work with me right now. I have a, a, a lot of people on a wait list. I wish I could help everyone, but I've come up with a way so that I can help a large uh, group of people by providing quality training, by creating engagement, by teaching you the advanced life skills that I teach in to my private clients. So there's uh, so many special, um, amazing trainings, um, bonuses, and perks to joining my community. So this is my official invitation to you, exclusive invitation for you to join my community in my Bridge to Love program. There's a link in the box below where you can check it out. And um, everything you need will be on that page for you to make a good decision for yourself. So if you're loving the videos and you love the content that I teach, this is your next step that I recommend that you take so that you can start to implement the strategies and the trainings and the teachings that I'm providing for you here. And get your and get your uh, your questions answered in a timely basis by my team of love coaches, coaches that is there to support you. Okay, ladies, thank you for joining me for one uh, another one of my episodes, and I'm just sending you so much love. Okay, I'm sending you so much love today. Thank you for being here. Bye.